This week, theme tunes. What makes a good one? What makes a bad one? And which one does Ethan know the words to? Welcome to Down It Lights with Rob and Ethan. Hello. This week we are talking wrestlers' themes. Themes, entrance um, music. And what the we thought would be... play before you come out to the ring. What we thought would be a really good idea is for Ethan to try and sing along or hum the theme. I, don't know, I should sing along, I should sing it, and then you should see if I got it right. Okay, right. Just from memory, because we were saying, well, before we started, me and Rob were saying, a lot of the times you remember, like, you remember theme songs, but how often is it that you actually know the words to a song... Let's find okay. A wrestling theme or song. just the actual or the, riff. Tune it, the tune itself that it goes to. Okay. Let's start with Kevin Owens. Okay, so that's pretty easy. That's Go on just then. and it's like a guitar that goes Wow and then it goes into the song. I'm fairly certain I'm pretty close on that one. Right, let's have a listen. Come on, I've got this right. It's not, it's got two, 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 two loops of that, and then oh, that's pretty bang on, mate. <laughs> come on, I mean, come that's on, that's pretty bang on, actually. That's, come on, that's, that's a good song, on. though. I like that song. That is a good that's one. That's very like I'm here to fuck some shit up, and you better deal with it. Yeah, it's very much like um, it's like it's, you don't need to change it. No, there's nothing that needs there's to be added to, to that, add it or add, add or remove from it. Right, Ed, Edge, Edge. So that's got like a, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Edge, Ed, Ed, Edge. So that's got like um. That's got like a metal like drum riff at the start. And a guitar as well, is it not? <clears throat> I I don't think it is. I think it's just drums and then he says something. I thought it was like da 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 But he says something beforehand. Oh you think you know me? Yeah. You think you know me. I've right. got that bit. Let's play it. And I could I could probably sing the words of this song to be fair, because it's a pretty well known You think you know me. Oh it's the you think you know me first. Yeah, and then it's like Da, 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 da. Who sang this song? I always thought when I was a young kid that Edge sang this song. I don't know. I probably pop stop playing before we get in. I thought he had something but... to do with Rob Zombie, but I think that I think he Rob just Zombie? You know, no, some, there's something to do with Rob Zombie and Edge. As in what, they were just mates? Potentially. Potentially, <laughs> Potentially just friends. Um I'm gonna look who sang it. That's a wicked song though, that one. Did he have a different theme song before that? I don't know. I always, I only ever remember him having that well, one. I can only think of that one that he had. I would assume he had maybe. I mean, everybody's always had like more than one. But like, what was great about it was my my best memory of it is that Royal was it Rest, Royal Rumble thirty twelve twelve. I don't know. I know you thought it was 30, but when he comes 30, back, yeah, when he came back, yeah, and that two thousand and ten. I don't think, know where I got thirty from. When you you, you think you know me hits, yeah, that's wicked. Yeah. And again, I always like. He's had a few. He's had a few, but this is the one that we all know. We all know and love. Yeah, I I love theme songs that like have an in, like a, a line intro to them. What do you mean? Like they start like, with you something you know like that, and it's just that on its own. I hate Mizzes because Mizza starts about four times and then it kicks in. Yeah, Mizza's got like it's like quiet on set, and then camera it's flash, like, camera flashes, and then awesome, and then I came to play. It starts, yeah. it starts four times over. Tom like, said that the other week. It doing? starts three times. <laughs> There's no need for it why to start doing, three yeah, times. Like, why are you doing that? Yeah. But, yeah, again, such a, like an iconic theme tune. And it always makes you think, if if certain wrestlers didn't have them theme songs, would they be like being as popular as they are? Like, well, surely they would have, but... If you've got a guy, if you've got a wrestler who's got a crap theme song, it's not, they don't normally... They don't normally do as well, do they? No. Like, can you think of anybody in the main title picture right now that has a bad theme song? Um, I don't. Well, he's not in the title picture. I don't really like, like Dean main, Ambrose. I mean, like main guys. Don't really like Dean Ambrose. One. I can't remember. Apparently, the Dean first Ambrose time he ever heard of that was when he got introduced to the ring. Really? And he just like literally played it. And, like, it hit, and he went, oh, "This is me, is it?" <laughs> I don't even know. What, I can't think what that sounds like. So that's got like that kind of guitar thing that sounds like a motorbike at the beginning. So it'd be like, oh, it's like, duh, duh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But now, yeah, now yeah, the yeah. newer version's got kind of like the purge siren. Yes. In oh, it yeah, underneath, I quite enough. like it. I think it works really well. Oh, actually, I quite like that. I don't mind it. Um, what about Sammy Zane's? Oh, easy. I'm gonna move back for this one. Go on then. Ooh. Oh, let's go! And it just gives like, like awful scar riff that they love, low and low. Hey, hey, hey! I was bang on. 
I didn't do it twice again because it just take too long yeah. to sing it twice, but. Da, 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 da. I hate Scar. Can I just say that I hate Scar? No, you can't. Wow. Scar's amazing. Do you like Proper Scar. Scar. Do you like Scar? Like Madness Scar. That's, no, I, I'm not classing that as like... I'm talking about like real big fish and stuff like that. Oh, that yeah, are yeah, just yeah, absolutely yeah. diabolical. That probably Sami Zayn knows and loves. I'm not having that one. No. Bobby Roode's entrance is probably one of my favourite ones. Do you like Bobby Roode's entrance? Do you know... Do you know I, I watched a little thing about how they made it, the CFO guys. And the they CFO were, that made that? Yeah, one? and they, they said the brief that they got was it needs to be a cross between Muse and Queen. That's a weird mark to but hit. But when it, you think it's about there, it, yeah, maybe you're right. It's there. That's a weird, like... Imagine getting that as your job. Amazing job. Like, no, but I'm saying make a song that switches between Muse and Queen. Be like, how the yeah. fuck do I do that? It's a great, and, like, great opening to it. Yeah. That's Queen. That's 100%. Your, that's just Queen. And then yeah, this, yeah. this next bit is Muse. Yeah. Definitely. And the actual guitar riff. Yeah. Yeah, that is very nice. But again, like that thing wouldn't really have worked with anybody else. Apparently it was supposed to be um, Shinsuke's theme. Really? Yeah. I can't see that. I remember being told that. I think Tom might have told me that. But you can't, it's tough to say that though. I mean, you can't, you can't think of like wrestlers having other people's theme songs. No. You just, you don't like line up in your head. No, but there's, there's been a few that have been used before. Like Kurt Angle's one was used for somebody else. Who? I can't remember what it's called. It's just called like metal or something. Really? But it was used for somebody else, like briefly, yeah. Before he became. Before he came and used, used it, it, yeah. Because I think at once, and I got well, this like from a the, kind of thing, John, yeah, like, like an enhancement wrestler or something. Right, okay. And I got this from the Bruce Bishop podcast where he said that I think this is right. Where Kurt Angle was wrestling someone, and the person he wrestled also used the same really? thing. <laughs> so they just played it twice. Time. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I always thought like if the new day ever fight each other, how would they do that? Yeah, cause it's just the same, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe maybe Big E just doesn't do it for Kofi. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you go out on your own, mate. I'm not doing it for you. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it for me, but I'm not doing it for That's you. That's it. I'd do that. I, I, what, I'd actually, what I'd do, if they ever fight each other, which I think they should at some point, I think they should feud over yeah. something, have them all come out at the exact same time and just like shake hands in the ring and start a match. Because yeah, they're all like the best, cool. of, best of friends. Like, not have like separate entrances. Just a bit to... like how a, a battle royale starts. Yeah, just almost, all there yeah, together. Just in, like, and all, off you come, go. all come down to the ring, yeah. just like to the one entrance, because they're still like best mates. And they're that'd still be pretty cool. Same. Same thing. Yeah, that'd be definitely a good idea. One of my favourite ever's, as cheesy as it is, is probably Hulk Hogan's. Well, the thing is... I've asked for this once in a club. <laughs> you asked for it in a club? <laughs> There's a, Someone was DJing who I knew was really into wrestling. Yeah. And I had this... Um, like app on my phone that yeah. like you type something in it scrolled across right like a, oh, like a ticker yeah, kind like of thing ranking. and i just held it up and it just said old kogan theme question mark and they just looked at me and went yep were you a virgin at that point or? no no i, I was mid-20s okay so you done that right for yourself <laughs> yeah, the thing it is, was great when it comes crashing down and it hurts inside what more can you do i thought it was fantastic it's, it's a so thing. yeah it's iconic it's, it's awful it. very punchy. it's awful isn't it it's not, it's not awful. What a theme. What a theme. Mate, you've got to take a stance, it doesn't hurt to hide. <laughs> That's a mint theme. He's great. Remember when he used, um, he used he Voodoo Child for a little bit, didn't he? When he played the guitar like in that video. Yeah, he did. Could he actually play guitar? I think so. Was that like a legit yeah, I think he can. I know, I think he can play, I know he can play bass. It's not hard, that, though. <laughs> <laughs> I no, sort of made is. a bit of an attempted career out of that, and it's not <laughs> hard. <laughs> I mean, he could have done it's it. It's not hard. Um, I, I, no, I'm, I liked it when he used um, when he used Jimi Hendrix for a little bit, but I don't know how he got that cleared. Yeah. That's, that's always strange. I mean, they can, always, they can always pay for some stuff. Yeah, they I suppose it. so. There was one thing with um, when Daniel Bryan used... Uh, not Daniel Bryan, when CM Punk used um, Court of Personality. And Kills was engaged... Like Vince fought him massively on it. Yeah, because uh, he didn't want to pay. He didn't want to pay for, to use the songs, but he just CM Punk was just adamant that that was going to be. His well, he had um, when he. Oh, I don't think it was against Taker. I don't think it was, but it was a WrestleMania, and he had um, them do that live. It's called the best one I did. Yeah, they yeah. Did. It was against Taker. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, really, really good. Really good. I like, I like really Living hard. Colour. Living Colors are really good. Sounds like a really hard song to play as well. Probably isn't. I don't know. I'm I mean, not very. I can't play any instruments. Yeah, so I've play. tried to play the bass and it is tricky. Yeah, but um, I like, but I like, um, I like both of Punk's theme songs. To be fair, I so prefer, I prefer, I prefer, I prefer Cold Personality. Yeah, me too. But 
he didn't. He once switched back to kill to engage against Cena, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it Money in the Bank. Yeah. And like that got a ma- it was in Chicago as well, wasn't yeah, it? Like yeah, massive yeah. pop when they played that. That was really, really good. I like that a lot. Um, I quite like the. I don't know if you might know the words to this one, but I like the Wyatt family ones or Br- 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 Bray Wyatt. Um, I know it's obviously just like a. It's. Dum, 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 yeah. Dum, 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 Do you know what he found this on one of those oh, what's the words? royalty free websites? Catching flies. Flies make sense because he used the fireflies in your mouth. mouth. Oh, in your mouth. Think so. Tasting fear <laughs> by the pound. Maybe not by the pound. Maybe That's surely not right by the pound. It would make sense. Very very eerie song though, which is perfect for him. The bass is so deep on it. If you very ever play nice. on a normal speaker, it just rattles yeah, around. But it's really good. Like the gift of the finger slide on the guitar. Is just like I like it because it's so slow. Yeah, and it and doesn't like, sound he, like. But he just like he just strolls to the ring, doesn't he? Yeah, he's not, he's not going there like an effort to run to the ring. He just kind of like saunters up to the ring in a yeah. menacing way. Catching flies in his mouth. Why is he catching it in his own mouth? That's really confusing. Oh, it's tasting freedom, not fear. Both would work though. I don't know. Great don't song, know though, but yeah, that. like. When when Wyatt was first coming up and about, and he, that starts playing, especially with the um, Jack. I don't know that's meant to noise. That was just the best. The, that, was, that was the best. Um, that, was, that was the best impression laughing made. That, right, all right, Rob, you don't laugh at that much. You made that noise better. I can't than I make that made. noise. I know exactly what you mean. Go on. And I think that's what's funnier. Get a go. I can't do that noise. You can do that I'm noise. I'm not doing that noise. Why? I when he found this song, it was on a website that um, where you like songwriters put stuff on that's like royalty free. It's yeah. like anybody want this kind Music. of song, get in touch because I'm trying to get something. I can't and he that found song, this. Um, he found this song, and then the guy who wrote it, Mark Croza. Then he got him a job helping him. Really? He got him a job at WWE, like he helping. Well, right stuff. Yeah, yeah. Was it Mania as well? Yeah, I know Cena. it was. I think it was against Cena. I think it might have been. One, he did one of my favorite entrances. It was just really weird because it was in the it was in the daylight when he had all the scarecrows, yeah, and probably. it was at the WrestleMania that's in San Francisco against yeah, Undertaker. Yeah. And it was like all the kind of guys dressed as scarecrows coming alive as he walked past yeah. with the lantern in the middle of the day. But like when that that noise, I'm not gonna do it again because you laughed at me <laughs> as much as you did. But like when that when he was first coming around and that hit and all the lights went out and then that starts playing because yeah. normally when them lights go out it's either Undertaker's gong that yeah. starts and it's just like a really slow like funeral march yeah or you get like a hard kind of like Kane's like yeah like, yeah kind that of, kind like, of organ line, thing like, it's, but that was just a very very slow melodic song and it always sounded mint I thought I, I thought I like I still like that song I, I could listen Bray to that Wyatt. where is Bray Wyatt? apparently he's coming back I hope he does come back soon he's great. He's been really he just, he just mishandled. Got, yeah, I he think just, he's brilliant. It's, like he, a, it's criminal how much they under, and like underused him. I didn't use him the right way. No, but he's, he's great at putting people over. Like we've seen him putting yeah. him over great, and he deserved he that title Daniel when Bryan, he had a couple of years back. Right. over brilliant in, yeah. the, in, the, in the steel cage, and yeah. like, that was the best yes chant I've ever seen. Is when he's like on the top of the cage. There's like he's just, he's just very well. At he stuff did um, one of the best. One of the things I love in wrestling, and he's really sad, is like a good blackout attack. Yeah. Yeah. And he did one in a Hell in a Cell match against Dean Ambrose, right. where the, all the lights come out, go out even. Come out. Um, come out to play. And then this lantern appears in the middle of the ring. Right. Smoke comes out of the lantern yeah. with a hologram. Yeah. And then Bray Wyatt runs through it into him. I oh, like that. Cool. Absolutely. Stuff like cool. that. Cool. He's, he's great. He could have been. He could have been the new Undertaker. Yeah. To an extent, to I an would extent. love never, to see him. Never be like on the same caliber as no. Could, but you could, you could have been the same kind of. He could have been there too. in that cult status. Yeah. I would, I'd love him to have a feud with Alistair Black. I think that'd be right. Yeah, cool. That'd be, that'd be absolutely mint. He's a really good wrestler as well. He's great. Such a hard, like strong style way. That Third like, generation wrestler. Mint. Absolutely amazing. I miss him. Yeah, I, I, I really do. Him. I, I love the White Family. Yeah. I like. I, I mean, really. I preferred him when he was doing the whole thing with the. Um, Hawaiian shirt and the chinos yeah, cool, rather than the cool weird look. sort of apron like, thing yeah, and that very cool look I really, little hat on yeah him, sat yeah. in the rocking chair like that he took from Whale and Mercy didn't he Did that it? was that the whole thing so but yeah there was a guy I can't remember his own name but he was a character in the early 90s called Whale and Mercy who dressed the same right. just really weird and yeah. it's all based on Robert De Niro's character from Cape Fear yeah yeah okay. and um that's really cool, and that's where he got it from. And it, I think he just works so well. He does. He I looks, really like he, it. Like the entire yeah, his look is mint. Yeah, really it's great. Awesome. I miss him. It's great. 
I do like him. I do like I like Finn Balor as well. I like Finn Balor. I don't like the demon Finn Balor. No. I like yeah, I like Finn Balor's normal entrance. I like his entrance. Is is it's good because it's a bit of a uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit <laughs> like um, <laughs> Royal sure. Bloods kind of thing yeah. as well with the. Um, I, I, don't know, I don't know if this bit's a little bit weird, but I don't like this bit at all. I think this bit's it's good when it just starts. Yeah, you just you don't need this bit really. No, because everyone knows who it is anyway. Yeah, I mean, if you come out to the ring, you know who it is. Really. Yeah, I like this. I like that. Yeah, I like the breath. That's really cool. But no, I mean, I've seen a video of them making this, and it's just literally three of them just um, like right. breathing in really quickly. Oh, to make that sound. And then slowing it down, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It sounds wicked, though. It's great. It sounds really cool when it does it's it. It's great. Another one, Chris Jericho. Um, okay. So, are we, it's like we're a, talking like old Jericho? When he first came around? Yeah, I don't mean like using his own song in New Japan. No, I'm talking about like... I'm talking about early Jericho when he was first becoming a thing because it's different to what he uses now. I think it was a lot more slowed down when he first started. I, don't know, I thought it was the same. It just doesn't, it just doesn't have the countdown. Come on. You know uh, yeah, I don't like that bit when it just yeah. kicks in and he's starting the, the yeah, that bit really when it just cool. kicks in with that. That sounds much better. Also, the video for the, his entrance, his title. His this title is what I don't like: the Dallas. countdown. But he didn't. I don't think he used this at the start. He did it with the whole because it was all the Millennium thing, weren't it? When he came out. Yeah. And the nah, see, when I this like kicks that. in, that's better. That's mint, but I prefer the one where it's like, you know, I got. Uh, I don't like that bit. I'm not, I don't like that bit. Again, <laughs> yeah. I don't know the words, any of the words that he's saying in that song at all. I'm surprised he didn't get his own, um, make his own theme song. Yeah, with him being in Fozzy and stuff like yeah. that, I'm very, very surprised they didn't let him at least. I think uh, there was um, he was on. I can't remember whose podcast he was on. Oh, no, he, he was on his own podcast, but he had Conrad Thompson on it, right. and he was talking to Jericho about how he got started in WWE, right. and now the whole, like, this is how I'm going to dress, and yeah. I'm going to look like this, and this is the whole idea yeah, yeah, yeah. of, like, new millennium yeah. coming and all this kind of thing. But um, he heard that song, and he was like, oh, actually, it's quite, yeah, it, it, yeah, it's quite good. I like it. it. There was bits he wanted to change, but... It just made he sense. Just liked it, so yeah, it made sense. It. I suppose, yeah, if, you, if they bring you something like, do you like this? If you did, there's no reason why you'd be like, mm, tweak this and tweak that. Yeah. Just use it. Like, if you like it, just like it. Yeah. Work with it. And if it's, like, we, there's not many that are awful that are very memorable there's not many or that top I can stars. Think of that are a bad theme song, which is weird because I'm sure there's been a hell of a lot of them. I mean, I'm an ass man is a terrible song. Fandango's like so the crowd asses, used to get behind. So many asses, yeah. so little time. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not one of the greatest lines in any song of, any, of all time, then I don't know what is. So many yeah. asses, so little time. Billy Gunn, what a boy. I know Fandango's that like wasn't great, but the crowd used to get I saw him, right I, behind he was it. On, I think it was at main event in the main event team before the Raw that I went to in, like in, in Manchester, and the crowd were fully up for it. Like for his theme, yeah, everybody were doing. Do you know the dance? Yeah, like the, with the two fingers. Like everybody was into that because <laughs> it's just like it's like <laughs> a football <laughs> match. Dude, that's why it went over in England so much. Yeah, like, yeah. What happened the, the night after Mania? Um, was when it got popular because obviously when you get a mania even on his titan tron it just says duh, 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 it's duh, just duh, that duh, duh. yeah there's just a lot of days but like um, obviously it was the night after mania that I think he might have debuted or at least became like onto Raw it was a Raw after mania and when you've got a every every everybody knows the best crowd of all of yeah, all year yeah, yeah. is a Raw after mania because it's got a hell of a lot of like European wrestling fans, like a lot of worldwide wrestling fans, that all come. It's like everyone's place. still pissed from and Mania. They're still pissed, and they're yeah. all nine times out of ten English. <clears throat> and English yeah. are notorious for just creating chants about anything they possibly can. And I think that's where it started with the thing, like the finger points. And then I went, yeah. to, I went, I went to Raw, and it was him and I think it was him and Tyler, and Tyler Breeze against some. It was against uh, the Dudley Boys. And like when he came out, the entire crowd was just fully into it. Like yeah. he was so over just for that theme song. And there's nobody else I think of that's over for the theme song. That's the reason why he was more over. over than they are as an in-ring yeah, performer. That's the reason why he was mm. over is because of his theme song, yeah. which is not often that that ever really happens. No, that I can think. No, of. I was I always like Vince McMahon's. Vince McMahon's a wicked theme song because that's one where everyone gets behind. I don't know what it starts like, but it's it's I know just it's kind of like a weird up against up against a machine too strong. Yeah, yeah. It's like I don't know like, what this is. No idea. No tears. That's what you got. And it just it epitomizes this man so perfect. 
Yes. You're too strong. Which, I don't know what that says. What did that just say? Something about politicians buying souls from us or puppets. Is this? Are they? Is it the same people who did DXs? No. That was um, Chris Warren. Was his name? Is she God? No tears. And again, the Raw After Mania last year when he came out. Yeah. And all the crowd, when the song finished, the entire crowd just carried on singing No Chance back at him. I thought it was the same guy who did DX. Chris Warren did DX, so I he thought it was the same guy. He died recently, sadly. A couple did of years he? Ago, yeah, unfortunately. But yeah. I, this great, this version of DX is, is great. I liked um, Run DMC's version. Yeah. It was so. great. This is, a, this is the best season this of all a, time for me. Of all time? Yeah. Think you could tell us what to do? Do you think you can tell us what to wear, Rob? Do you think you can tell us what to wear? Do you think that you're better? The entire video, the overlay with like when they were in the yeah. like, they were walking, but the video was still playing over the front of them. Yeah, it was all like LA riot stuff as well, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That riff, that is one of the best riffs yeah, of all time. Yeah, it is. It is. Degenerate into something full. We just got tired of doing what you told us to do, and it was just like so. I like fucked the system, wasn't it? Yeah. It's still what it is. It's Rage Against the Machine. That's what it's meant. Well, that's what it's meant to be, in it really. But like that guy sounds like. Yeah. What's the guy called from Rage Against the Machine? Um, did you hear the version of America the Beautiful they played before? Yeah, one of the worst things of all time. <laughs> do you know what I do like though, that Chris Warren also did um, my time for Triple H. Okay. Like Triple H hit me with that. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, yeah. One, two. This thing is with this tri- on? That was like, that was Chris Warren. The Triple H thing, we kind of like just you just thinking Motorhead because that's you do, the most ones he did didn't he, he had, I mean, again like it's a strange thing that he has two themes Triple H yeah who else has two well themes? he's kind of one is like when he's wrestling and one is well authority is like the bow down to the king one isn't it and then his wrestling one is just his normal yeah his normal theme both are mint both are great but what, who, are, what are other good. can you think of any other superstars that have two theme songs um no Apart from Taker, but that's when he was two different gimmicks, weren't yeah, it? But two that's people. just a like, different thing. Triple but... H could come out, could, Triple H, in theory, come out at the start of a night in a suit to bow down to the king. Yeah. And then be scheduled on a match the same night and come out to a completely different song and have not changed his gimmick in any way, shape, or form. That's quite interesting. Yeah. He just takes his suit off. Pretty weird, isn't it? Yeah. That's no, I can't cool. think of anything. No, I, I can't think of anything else. One of the most modern day ones that is, prob- I think this is better than. DX and it's Alistair Black's. I mean, you're wrong, but that's okay. That's fine that you think that. The live version is good. Yeah. This whole entrance that he did, I think it was a takeover. This is this is amazing. Wicked. I've seen it. I say I saw him live at the Albert Hall. The theme song is, and everybody singing that song. Yeah. Is fucking brilliant. I think I had this on a playlist I used to have at the gym. Nice. <laughs> you're a bit angry. You just get me right angry. You're a bit angry. You're a bit riled up. Yeah. And the day I like after, to, I've like got like, start. I'm absolutely in agony because I've been <laughs> doing too walk. much weights. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is like when we do it. I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, it's a wicked. Yeah. But the, that, the choir voices as well. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No man is ever truly good. I think this is one of those that suits a wrestler so much. Yeah. Definitely. More than anything I can think of. I Definitely. think that's why I like it so much because it it's the, the whole package of it. But then again, I don't, I think the Exus theme fitted them unbelievably because they were so like anti-authority against the system. Yeah. And it was about being an actual degenerate. Like it was just, it was called, it was, it was what they were. It was literally Degeneration X. It yeah. It just was them. Yeah, it worked. It's, it just, it's one of them where everything just fell into place. And what they say it was the same time as one of like the LA riots and stuff like that. But it they became... Shortly after, like a, little, a couple not the, of years not the after. the same time, but, but like, it was still relevant. It was still time. relevant at the time. Yeah. It was still relevant at the time. Which is again, perfect. Like it was just, yeah, it was just, it made, it was made, that was just, it was their themes. It was made for, I know yeah. a lot of them are made for the person that they are, but that was made for them, 100%. CM Punk's one we talked about earlier. I, Which one? Uh, Living Colour. Yeah. Was Is still one of the best ones as well. I don't think I said that a lot. I just like a lot of them. I just like them I just like, <laughs> just them like all. a lot of them. It, do you know what it takes me back to? Being a kid playing GTA San Andreas. It was on one of the radio stations. Was it? Yeah. yeah it was I don't remember. Was it? It was on like one of the rock radio stations. Okay. It, it always played like just to the countryside like into the desert. I think the first time he used this was when he oh, came back when Cena was in the ring. Yeah, nobody knew it were. And no one knew who it were. Yeah, and he and he did that thing where he was like he stayed he didn't he didn't come out on the ramp for ages. Yeah. The song was almost half done yeah. and then he walked out with that title on. Yeah. And everyone just went mental. Yeah. Living colour will tell you that one and one is three. 
and that's not right. <laughs> it's not, that's not mathematically correct. You shouldn't listen to that song. Um, Sasha Banks ones is a, is a modern one. No, I, I don't like really it. like it. I, hate it. I don't really like what, it. Also, what are the words to that? I'll try and sing that one for you if you want. What What do you think they are? Um, it's it's like <laughs> and it's like so Hannah hadn't made it. Now there's no one stopping me now. Yeah. <laughs> It's something like that. It's about having a dream. That's pretty accurate. That's pretty good. That was the most accurate bit I think you've got. <laughs> it's about like having a dream, I think, and not making it. Or she had a dream that you not made it. Had a dream that I hadn't made it? Yeah. That's so weird. Like, she woke up and she's like, I haven't made it. Oh, wait, I have. Oh, uh, okay. I get, I, I get it, I get it. But I thought she was saying, I had a dream. Like, I wanted to do this, but I haven't done it. Like, I had a dream, I hadn't made it. Yeah. But she did a... Like she woke up and was like, oh, God, I haven't made it. That's all it was, I think. One of the main she did, because she's The Rock's cousin. No, The Rock's cousin. She's Snoop Dogg's cousin. <laughs> I just saw she's somebody the said rock, The Rock then, and he the just rock's threw cousin. me off. She's Snoop Dogg's cousin, isn't she? I think... So. I don't... Is it like yeah, yeah, twice legit. removed or something like I don't that? Know, I think she's like legitimately just Snoop Dogg's cousin. Yeah, because he came out. Yeah, him, real life he? cousin. I didn't say it. she's probably telling everyone. It might be second he came removed, out. but did he come out yeah, he did a, um, a mania entrance for her. Did he sing? Did he sing that? He song? just kind of freestyled over <laughs> it. Really, <laughs> it'd be funny if he sang it. <laughs> like he just sang those words. <laughs> Imagine. That'd yeah, brilliant. Um, the game that we were talking about earlier, the game one where Triple H is the wrestler. Um, it's like, time to play the game. It's time to play the game. The it's, it's the, title, the, game. the title of it, it? On, um, on YouTube is WE The Game Triple H 17th Theme Tune. 17th Theme Tune. 17th Theme Tune. There's been a lot of reiterations of Triple H's Theme Tune. It's, um, I, can't, I can remember, I can't remember what he had when he was the Hunter Hearst Helmsley. It was like a like a Regal song. Yeah. It, I think, maybe. This is the most iconic one now. Yeah, probably due to Lenny, bless him. Uh, did a really good live version of it once as well. Have you seen that one? The one you're thinking of. Yeah. All the words wrong. He just, he just sings it wrong. Song. But yeah, and I've, I'm a massive Oasis fan. I've seen Liam Gallagher <laughs> sing his own song wrong. So. Mate, it's all about the game and how you play it. These words are hilarious. Like, what does he say there? All about something. Like, I am the game. You don't want to play me. Like, what, is, what, is he, what does he mean? He's like, you don't want to play me as in, like, what, you know, like, take me out on a date and then not text me back or something. Like, you going to play me like, play my heart like that. Maybe. I think that's what Lemmy meant when he wrote those words. Lemmy didn't write that song, let's be honest. No, I don't think he did. I think, I don't, and the same with the authority one. But again, like, Jim when, Johnson when he, wrote it and just yeah, got them in. But when he played that song live, I think he said afterwards that he'd literally heard and listened, he'd listened to that song once Probably. when he recorded it. Yeah, yeah. And then never thought no, about it. We don't need to. He's not doing it a gig, is he? And they were like, can you come back and, um, Play that song do it. Lemmy. And he's like, I bet you're, I bet you're like, in back, like on Spotify, like, oh, the game, how you play, play it, okay, there's a game, okay. and then he went out and tried, and he was like, eight, eight, eight lyrics up, yeah, it's A about, to Z lyrics, he's, eight, eight <laughs> lyrics genius.com, and he, he's, about, he's about four, five Jack Daniels deep, and he just got out there and we're like, ah, fuck it, I don't know what I'm Ten saying. Ten cigarettes down. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Bless Where him. do you stand on Shinsuke's theme? I liked his all, I don't like the new one, they're rapping over it. I quite like the new one because it's the, different. The only reason they did it is because so the crowd can't sing along anymore, which yeah. puts him as a heel and not a face. Yeah. And I think when he goes back to being a face, inevitably they'll bring the old one back for him. Again. This is another one where a theme. I liked it when that woman played it from what she was. What was she from? Alison Chains? Uh, no. A guitarist. Uh, Nina. Something. She was a guitarist for Alison Chains, wasn't she? Uh, uh, yeah, she uh, yeah, she was actually. I can't remember her name. Nina Strauss yes. is her name. Um, I liked that. It's like, no, I'm sorry, I like this. Well, the, the, the guy with the violin. the violin, this is great. What was this, when was this? Oh, it was when we were doing the whole... It's yeah. when he debuted on yeah, main yeah, roster on the, and he interrupted um, the Miz. Yeah. as an awful John Cena. Awful yeah. I love that angle, though. <laughs> she plays such a good Nicky Bella, I yeah. think she's hilarious when she does it. That was the best bit about This it. man's taking piss a bit, though, anyway, let's be honest. What's he doing? Play the song, mate. Take your shit in and get out. Song started Everyone yet. knows who this is, though. Yeah, I know, but it's not started yet. How many seconds are in? And then it actually starts. This is the better version of his thing. Yes. 100%. It was great when we saw it at a house show. Yeah. When, when, like, with it. the lights and strobes yeah. and that, and he comes out and does all these like, weird poses and shit. That's mint. 
I like this bit. Not this bit, this bit. That sounds wicked. And then the crowd Listen behind me. They can't beat that. Yeah. They can't beat it. But I would say on the on the point of um, violins, I think currently I've just had a th- only just thought after watching that. I think the best theme song currently is um Walter's Ode to Joy. Oh yeah. Uh, not Ode to Joy. That's not oh, definitely not Ode to Joy. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Imagine walking out to Ode to Joy just slapping people's faces off. Um, what's it? Symphony in like E minor, e minor I think, something, yeah. something. Symphony number no. nine in E minor. When we watched, when we went to Wembley, they had two violinists on stage um, playing the opening to that song. Uh, they like they were both in spotlights, and um, one was in a spotlight for one part, and then that right. went dark, and then the other one was in a spotlight, and she played the other half, and then the both spotlights came on, they both played it together, and it sounded unbelievable live. Like it was such a wicked feeling. Like you got, I got, I had, I've got goosebumps thinking about it. Like it was yeah. that wicked. And then obviously they all all the lights went off, and then they played the actual theme of like of Walter, and it was just oh, unbelievable. This. So the two women were playing this bit like on violins at the start. Really. Like this. this is what they were playing. And then they played this bit, this next bit. They played it for like in a really slow, right. like a really slow version. Best thing ever. Yeah, this is really. That's good. like I'm here. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you, yeah. and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. I'm just, we can't do anything about it. I'll play this as long as we want, as long as it's royalty free. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it, rest of the episode. We'll have all ten minutes of it. On. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a bit weird after a bit, but yeah, never. Yeah, unreal. it suits him so, so much. It's such a like an authoritative theme where it's just like I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, I'm gonna literally yeah. ruin your life, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, literally yeah. one of the ones that suits someone badass, so well. So badass. That theme wouldn't work with, I don't think, anybody else. Really. When he came out at the NXT Blackpool yeah. takeover, and, and as soon as that hit him, I was like, know it is. oh man, this, this is, is amazing. Like, and that's what go. you want. You, you yeah. want one where there's no there's no build-up to yeah. it. It just, you know it's on. There is, obviously, there's an intro to that one, but that was always the great one about Stone Cold's hour. You yeah, just had just, the glass smash, and, goes, and he was like, oh God, he's like, here. There's no thing, time to react. There's no time to think. And it's like, like it gets you hyped. You're like, here we go. I know what this wrestler's like. I know how they fight. Here we fucking go. It's yeah. gonna get mental, and it's just like you get glass smashing. You're like, I'm about to see some shit go down right yeah. now because like, Stone Cold's coming to the ring. John Cena's, I don't think, has ever. <laughs> That's my best I don't think he's aged badly. It hasn't at all. This is also from a song, isn't it? This intro. This intro. It sounds very. It's sampled from a song. Yeah. This like this entire first bit. This is this entire first bit is sampled from an actual song. And I forgot what the song's called. It's like a rap song from like the 80s, I think, or the 90s, or something like that. And these like these horns are like obviously computer generated, but they sound wicked. They're so good. They sound so mint. like early 90s hip hop. Sound mint. Master Figure Doctor Figure maybe better. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit better. Yeah. Is this Cena singing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sound that bad, he's it? good. He's alright. You know, yeah, for what he's doing. No. He was always good. He's good at his, like... God, he's, I fell off. I'm still hot. Knock your shell off. It's like a... Thugonomics one he did was... He was good. So, you think you're untouchable? Like, that start... that When that hits as well, you're like, here we go. This is wicked. I, 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 mean, you can, I mean, you cannot be a good theme. It just sets you up for the match. No. And, like, Stone Cold's... He's just... It's just so... Like, when that hits... I didn't like the version where we were singing over it. Well, there's a version we are singing over Yeah. And it's a bit weird. Yeah. Um, when it just... I'll try and find it. It's just that little guitar wail. The thing is with this one, anything can be happening at any time yeah, in the ring. And, and, and as it, soon yeah. as that glass smashes... <laughs> you're, 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 everybody's focused on that's the it. Like, you look at the Everyone entrance. goes mad. We were talking a while ago about uh, it might have been an episode of Raw where we'd been off TV for yeah, ages and, and the hit. pop for this so was best, just so the, loud. The best one is when WCW invaded. Inva- I don't know why I said invaded like it was a long word. Invaded. Yeah. Um, and they were all getting... And the, all the WF were getting beat down in the ring. And I don't think Austin had been seen for quite a while. And on the Titan Tron, they kept showing glimpses of Austin turning up, beating a few guys up, and then yeah. they cut back, and then yeah, they cut to yeah, black, yeah, and then yeah. they go off the ring again, and then they cut back, and it'd be him like hitting a few guys, like stomping towards the ring, and then they just they show nothing for like a minute, and all the guys are getting beat up, and it's just like Austin, oh, Austin, oh, it's like building and building and building. They, they let it build for like a good three minutes, 
and then that glass smashes and the entire place just erupts and I think he hits like 45 stutters in the space of 35 seconds like, is that the one where he's walking down and Jim Ross is like he's oh, talking he's talking he's, he's, talking. Talking. <laughs> and he's, just, and he's like and he's, he's just, just like, muttering to and himself he's just, no he's not even muttering he's just shouting like obvious obvious yeah, swear yeah, words yeah. Like, as if he's about to kill somebody and then he just gets in the ring and doesn't hit a single move other than a stunner to every single person that's in there yeah. he just like he feeds one after the other and then he can tell he, he gets tired like he, he sits down <laughs> gets and, he's like, and he's like holding his own knee to like push himself back up to his feet again because he keeps like dropping to his arse to get back up and he can tell he's obviously fucking shattered it's hilarious it's the hilarious. one that we probably all know I like love. absolutely so well is The Undertaker's yes what I love about The Undertaker's theme is that when obviously cause he's already, he comes in last always no when what. the first person's in they don't like as soon as they're in and they're in the ring it doesn't just start no, there's a gap they make them wait and they do that at the minute they do it with Ronda Rousey and it works yeah. really well there's a good gap because it feels like a proper Building boxing yeah, match almost coming, like a prize coming, fight coming, yeah. so there's just this huge gap then the lights go off and then the it all hits. comes in and it's just amazing yeah. and the pop from the crowd the, the crowd go crazy for this when the lights go down yeah because you know what's coming it's crazy when I um, went to Raw um, like the entire like the orchestra behind it like yeah the voice like the angel like angelic voices and which is quite weird for a, like a dead man from hell but like the old, like angels singing and stuff like that it's yeah like, so like you're, you're about to die right now you're about to die like you're going to die is what we'll be hearing in yeah. like five minutes time It is just a funeral march, right? But like, yeah, down. but it also sounds like a really slowed down version of Imperial March from Star Wars. Oh yeah. If you think does. of one of them, you'll get yeah, the other yeah, one in your yeah, head. Yeah, you can't think about the other without either. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> that's pretty hilarious. That's very true. But I was just about to say when I went to Raw, um, the other year now, 2017, maybe 16. Um, it was when Bray Wyatt was feuding with the, or getting started to feud with the Undertaker, and he kept calling him out, and he wouldn't show up. Okay. And then the lights went down, and we were like, "No, like he can't be, in, he can't be in England, like he can't be here." Like Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family were in the ring, yeah. And the entire lights, and they kept like showing the video package like over and over throughout the night, and then all the lights went off. And we were like, "He can't be here, like it just can't happen." It was dark for like a quite a long time, and then the gong hit. Wow. And we all went a bit mental, but like not enough to say like yeah, he's yeah. actually here. Yeah. And then the lights slowly came up and the fire started bursting out the stage and we were like, no way, like this cannot be real. And then he not only did he come out on his own, he came out with Kane. It was like the Brothers of Destruction were back for like the first time in 12, 15 years, something like that. Okay, yeah. And they both came out and like, I've got a video on my phone of me recording it. I just, my hand, I, I'm just shaking that much. <laughs> I think I cried. I might have cried. I was quite drunk at the time, but I might have started a bit like roaring a little bit because I'm like, I can't believe Undertaker's here. I'd never seen him before in, the, in person. Like, I cannot believe he's actually here. It was so amazing. Did you ever see the one when, um, I think it was WrestleMania 20, when he came back in 2004, but he started with Paul Bearer? Yeah. And Paul Bearer oh, comes out of it, because yes. everyone thought Paul Bearer yeah, was yeah, like yeah. not going to be around anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I might have got it here, right there. He's going to play, wasn't like it? He's been intimidated. Yeah, wicked. And it was again like you never see it coming. No. Like you just think the gong's gonna hit, don't you? And it's just gonna carry on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Crazy. And then, and then they had all the druids yeah, thing yeah, and everything like that. Wicked. Yeah, really good. Really good. Mint stuff. Can you search um, Stone Cold Steve Austin theme on uh, on YouTube for me? Which one are we looking just for? Just search Stone Cold Steve Austin theme and let's just see what comes up. Um, because I've got one. I've got a great Stone Cold Austin theme that I really like. I think it's better than his actual theme. Um, let me have a look. I mean, I'm just, just I'm a, let me vamp a little bit while I try and find what it is. I don't. Um, I can't remember ever hearing one where he sang on it. I, you definitely exist. I'm telling you, it exists, mate. I'm telling you, it exists. Um, let me have a look for it. It will exist. It def- I'm not. I can't be imagining it. I cannot be imagining it. Is it, <laughs> dis- is, it dis- is it the disturbed version? Oh, hang on a minute. It might be it disturbed. Might, yeah. It's like, Earth, the bad, whatever. It's like over the top of it. It's like him just shouting some shit, and I can't remember what he's shouting, but. Yeah, you might be right. I think it, I'm almost certain it exists. You can't tell me it doesn't exist. If it does, then my life's been a lie. It was still the glass smashing. Oh. It was still the glass smashing, and all that. Is this it? I think this is it. I'm fairly certain this is it. Yeah, can you hear it? Like. 
Oh God, yeah, I do Weird, remember this. Weird. I don't think he used it for very long. I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's awful. Yeah. I do remember it now, and I just yeah, I think this is one of those long. like we're going to repackage it a little bit. Have you got the drink beer beat Deborah version? <laughs> Can we play that one? <laughs> Can we play it? We're not playing that one. Why not? That one can't be there. Why? So, well, do you know what? Play, just play it just for the intro. Don't even have to listen to it. Just the intro. Because obviously somebody's, somebody with a very, very, very good Stone Cold Steve Austin um, impression has made us like their own theme song where... Um, I don't know if it's confirmed or not that he hit his wife. Is it, is it true? I don't know. It's not for me th- to say. It's not for me to say either. I'm just saying that. I feel, I feel like he might have it's done something it. he could have done. He could have done it at some point, but somebody made a song about him doing that. And it's just the intro is... <laughs> <laughs> Great some hell. Yeah. And the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> just to play, awfully playing a guitar. Yeah. Like, and I think apparently he's heard it and thinks it's funny. I think he finds it hilarious. He probably would think Which it is, is all funny. that matters, as long as he likes it. One of the... We were talking earlier about great top card wrestlers yeah. don't have crap themes. Yeah. I hate the Rocks theme. Really? I just think it's Which one? Because again, he had about 12. Um, just probably the, like the Just the most, most recent one. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with it? I just think it's rubbish. Why? I don't know what it is about it. I just don't. You just don't like it. No, it's just not. What about his Ulmer? Is like him going like the Rock says. The yeah. Rock says, "No, you're damn wrong." Like all that stuff. I like that one. I don't really feel any way about the Rock's theme. Smell what the Rock is. This one, I like this one. This one's like. This one's. Yeah, good. when he just keeps saying the Rock says. The Rock says. The Rock says, "No, you're damn wrong." Or something like that. Nah, I, think he not other, it. I think he says something other than The Rock says, but no, I like that one. But then the, the new one is. But the... There's too much drumming. There's too much extra bit of drums in it. Right. Is that what? Is that what? I just don't think it's very good. It's not right though. Can we play? Um... Have we got the New Age Outlaws team? Possibly. Let's type in. What's your favourite one? My favourite is DX. Alright, okay. We're I was hoping it'd be one we haven't played. No, we have, well, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I ain't got... I'm I'm gonna, my, I don't think mine is I'm either. I don't lie. think I've got one. I'm not going to lie and tell you my favourite one. There's a video of them coming in and doing the entire intro like in the 90s or something like that. Um, they love doing this. They lo- You can tell. Like, you can tell he just loves getting it out, doesn't it? Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> it's really good, though. It's not. It's, it's not. Why is it what's wrong with it? You can guarantee, I can guarantee you this is the best part of Road Dog's night every night on the tour. Oh yeah. Just him shouting this as loud as he could. Oh hell yeah. But the entire like it wasn't the thing is though, with this theme song, it's one of the only ones that stops playing and then he just carries on like yeah. he's like you know, he, there's one where he's, he's doing all his he's like welcome to the dark house and they're all, all the crowds going ooh, 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 and all that stuff and it, like he had it in the palm of the hand like every single night they just love the edit up every single night yeah and he's like and he's obviously the, the whole oh ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children all ages like they just everybody knew it everybody's got involved in it uh, every single night yeah Tag he, team he, he does well world. like it's just mint and then obviously did it with um DX as well, like get involved, like two. If you've not got two words for your sucking, yeah. And stuff. Before that, he was doing Jeff Jarrett's. Yeah, J do with him. him. Crazy theme tunes make you. They can't. They just. They can make or break make you. Make or break you. They really can make or break you, and it's not often that. I have to try and go. I have to go in and come back next week and think of some like good wrestlers that have got shit themes. There, there probably be some. some. There must be some from back in the day, maybe probably like, like eighties and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, sure. There's some really, really bad ones out yeah. there. Yeah, thought of. There's some good current ones. Um, since like Saber Jr. Does he still use the Idols tune, Mother? Yeah, he uses. I think so. Yeah, great. Mother. Again, I like, like that. indie, indie, wicked indie stuff. Daniel yeah. Bryan used to use the Final Countdown. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, is, like by Europe, which is a fucking mint song. <laughs> um, of Jimmy Havoc, uh, I hope you suffer by AFI. If you were a wrestler. What would you use? If I was a wrestler? Um, oh, 
That's a good question to spring on me when we're like recording this in the moment live. I'll play you mine. I right. know mine. Oh, you've already got your I know mine. Up. Mate, right, okay. I've been thinking about this for years. <laughs> I know mine. I am, unsurprisingly, it's Oasis. It's Oasis. Oh, I know you're going to choose. Can I guess? Yeah. Is it fucking in the bushes? It is. I'm going to play it, yeah. Play it, play it. Do you know why I like it? Because it's got that beginning bit like um, Austin has. Yeah. That's just an instant sort of hit. Here we go. So yeah, everyone would know it were you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It'd be quiet. It'd be, God, I've thought about this quite a lot. It's sad, isn't it? <laughs> you yeah. laid out how it'd look when you, like, when you come to the Mate, ring. Mate, on like older games where you could put your own music yeah, in it, I've done like Pyro and Lighting <laughs> and everything. Loads of it. Loads of it. But it got really quiet mm. for a good five, six seconds yeah. and then it just hit. Hopefully. Yeah, it'd be meant to like just rock into that. And I agree. I think... Yeah, you have to cut that bastard bit out. You wouldn't be able to add to that, but... I'm not. I'm not a bit as well. Yeah. That'd be it. Would be a wicked thing, so because like you say, Amazing. You, need, you need that like punchy. You need that instant, going, don't you? There's like that's what's wrong with the Mizzes. Yeah, he's got starts, three intros. Four thousand times. He's <laughs> got three intros. I mean, I hadn't thought about it. This would probably change if I had time to think. But off the top of my head, like off the cusp, I'd probably go "All Dealer Bricks" by the Monkeys. Really? Because everybody ought to sing the dirt, 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 dirt. Like everybody else is getting okay. involved in that. Like, yeah, every, that makes have all, sense. Have all the crowd like singing that. Yeah. Along. Oh, you might have got it. That's obviously, that's an easy... And all the crowd just... Yeah, similar kind of thing. I like that. that. Yeah, yeah, working. yeah. You could get rid of the words, to be fair. Just have the music. It's the instrumental. Yeah, you could do, it's yeah. The instrumental. But I think the crowd, like, obviously, the great ones that we all all know, like Sammy Zane's, it's just easy to sing, because everyone yeah. knows it. Fandango's, easy to sing. That... That opening riff to that song, I think everybody just Yeah, that's right. I think the one I like doesn't have that. It. That just has that instant impact. Yeah, but it's like that's still good for that because you know that you're yeah. coming in, that's, that's you starting, that's you coming to, to, to fuck some shit up. And, you got, <laughs> and you'd have to do your mic walk and all when you walk down to the ring and you're doing your <laughs> as well. That's swagger down to yeah, the ring. you have to do your swagger down with your, with your legs about eight inches apart. Ten to two. Yeah, yeah, so ten to two. <laughs> you'd have to do that. And then you'd have to get out mic or something and just like, drop a little Say something. Um, yeah, like, ah, kid. And then just start like, <laughs> knocking people out. That'd I, I want to do a tag team with Flash Morgan Webster and we'll have that. Have that be as great. Intro. Call Flash Mods. The Flash Mods. What a name. The Flash Mods. That's a great name. Mate, we should um, we should get Flash Mods Webster on the podcast. We'll have to get him on the podcast. See if he wants to talk about him. music. That's the... That's, uh... I'll text him. What do you mean? I didn't say I'll text him. <laughs> did you text no. him? What did you say? I said we'll have to go and talk to you. I swear you said I'll text him. <laughs> I didn't have say I'll text Flash him. Have you got Flash Mods on his web I number? don't. I don't. You got his numbers? I tweeted him once and he never tweeted me back. Oh. Why are you tweeting? I think I showed him... I, so, I tweeted him a link to Phil Daniels selling his suit God, she did. from when he was Jimmy in Quadrophenia. Of course you did. What else would you have I'd be into that. I'd probably reply. fit him. <laughs> did reply? Yeah, I probably got in it. No, nah, he didn't reply. Aww. Someone, someone bought it for like 10 grand anyway really? and he ain't got that kind of Ten cash. So, grand. yeah. That's a lot of money for a suit in it, let's be honest. Yeah, no, but it's like infamous, isn't it? In, that, in like the mod world, it's proper infamous, that yeah, suit. Yeah, I suppose. Some man in a... Yeah, Jimmy suit from Quadrophenia. Yeah. yeah, some bloke who's like 40 stone yeah. has probably bought <laughs> that. Yeah, a little moped. He's just hung it up in his wardrobe. Yeah, probably would have. Amazing. That's theme tunes. Love theme tunes. What a listen, great... Listen to some. Let great us know what your thing to have in your life. Imagine Wait, I could... to ring with no theme tune. We're going to work with a theme tune. <laughs> yeah, imagine. I'd love that. It's like rocking into Just walk in and that starts. That's That'd be mint. Starts playing. Yeah, let us know. Um, obviously, catch us on the, at the lights on Twitter. Uh, stay at the lights on Instagram. Obviously, on YouTube, stay at the lights. Um, yeah, if you've got any themes that we didn't cover in that episode... Um, Definitely let us know. We might touch into them like next time because there's that many that we probably didn't get. I'm sure we could do a part two at some point. And actually, like, have, we can make a game of like whose theme song is this. We'll when Tom's like, back, I'm gonna theme. play some, and you have got to guess the lyrics. All right, I'll and we'll figure it. out what if you know the right ones yeah, or not. I'll for that. Let's do that. Nice one for listening. See you next time. Take care.